Hello guys, welcome back to another session on RP Automation in your A360 Web Services concepts. So we are going to learn all A360 advanced concepts in the series and sequence. So please subscribe and don't forget to click on bell icon. That's why you'll be notified every time when I upload a new video or series on Automation in your A360 and RPA concepts. Okay, let's get started. So in this lesson, we are going to learn uh, automation anywhere web services concepts. So we have already covered up uh, our uh, what is our uh, web services, REST web services, get method, get all requests, get single requests, and uh, uh, post method. So in this video, uh, we will cover remaining concepts. So let me go to automation anywhere A360, and uh, this is our source URL. Uh, like uh, no, no, there we can utilize get single user request, get multiple user by using REQ and RES third party uh, sample rest web services uh, U U URL. So <clears throat> we have already covered all these topics in the earlier session. Um, please uh, go through those videos and let me know if you face any issues or difficulties. I'll uh, you know share the link in the description. So. In this video, uh, we have already covered put, get, get single user and get multiple users methods. So in this lesson, we are going to learn uh, put method. So let's see, uh, uh, put update method, we will see. Okay. Uh, uh, first of all, what we will do, I'll just list out all the uh, users. So let me copy the link. So in this website, we have different users available. Let's suppose if you want to perform any option, like create a new user, get a single user request, post, what, whatever option you want to perform, you can perform by using this web services, uh, REST web service methods. So here you can see we have different users. So in this users, I want to update any one of the user uh, details. Okay. So by using um, put method, I'm going to update the request user. So this is the URI. And this is the body method we need to pass it over here. So let me go to automation anywhere A360 and let me drag and drop the method. And here I need to provide uh, uh, URI details. So let me select this um, copy link. Let me paste it over here. So here they want to uh, you know update the uh, second ID user details. And the second ID username, uh, this one, and job is this one. Let me copy this body details also. Since we are using dummy where REST web services website, right? There is no authentication required. And we need to pass the URI details either from credential wallet or variable only by selecting select credential as URI option. We are not supposed to pass anything by using, uh, you know, hard coded value here you can see assistant is showing us red color mock that is we did not complete this uh, properties so whenever if you complete the property then you will get a uh, 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 good to go sign off for this uh, assistant here you can see one uh, error is there okay so the rest of services where you get the error is in the rest of services put method so let's so let us clear the error so here we did not assign any output to the specific variable and here we did not pass any body proper body so let me provide the body but here i want to update some other details some other users instead of second user i want to update another user so here we have an id is 11 and his name is george so let me copy the george name and id is 11 so let me paste it over here name is george and his id is 11 let me change the id to 11 and here i'll i'll update the job as ceo ceo sorry ceo okay so let me save still here we have a red mark that means still we have few more action items are pending so let me click on capture failure or uh, reason. This is optional. If you want to select, select, or if you want to leave, leave it there. No problem. So let me assign all the output to the dictionary variable. So let me create a dictionary variable for put method. And let me click on create and select. 
so now we are good to go let me click on save here you can see uh, no red color mark available in um, assist and here you can see there is uh, nothing to see here if you are good to go that means you can run the task okay so let me try to drag the message box to display the updated user read details so to do that we need to call the dictionary variable let me press f2 to select the dictionary variable is put dictionary and we need to pass the body keyword to fetch the body details what so we have already covered in the and what is dictionary and how to oh, oh, no, use key value pairs to fetch the required details. So if you have any queries in the REST web services, you know, please go through the previous videos or let me know if you face any issues while developing the REST web services, please drop a message in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you with the required uh, details or documents or if you, if you want to add a so, few more points, definitely I'll make another video on REST web services. So here, if you have any confusion how to use those keywords, here we have a note use response header name as key that means for to fetch the headers that means if you want to fetch the header you need to use response header name keyword to fetch the header let's suppose if you want to fetch the response body of the response you can use body keyword so here that is what uh, here we have passed the body keyword so let me save on uh, save the task for the rest web services put method so here we have utilized uh, uh, you know 11th user id here we want to update as george as ceo so in order to run this process we need to click on run button let me click on run button so the task is deploying to your computer and it is going to reflect the runtime window now yes here we can see the bot running runtime window and we can also see we, here we can also see the how many lines available in the particular task and which task is currently running everything we can see you see line one of two that means well, first line is working out of uh, two lines and now second line is working second line is message box here you can see the name is charge and job is updated as ceo and here we can see updated time date stamp as well that's all so hope you are like this video and uh, uh, i hope you are able to understand the concept of rest web services web services hope web services how we are going to pass in the response and how we are getting the request uh, and how we can interact with the different applications without any ui so whenever if you want to interact with the application let's suppose want to interact with the uh, google.com let's suppose you want to interact with the um, google.com okay or else uh, currency rates currency rates mm, sorry currency rates okay uh, here we have something x rate.com to fetch a different currency rates so if you want all this you want to fetch the what we have to do basically we are going to use uh, uh, either capture command or object load all these details and update us sometimes the application may change frequently or you know object learning or rest web service sorry object learning or you know capture command may not work as expected because of high frame tags or cross domain web application something like that so in that scenario we can just use the uh, api keys so we can just uh, perform all the required actions without uh, interacting with the application ui that is how it is going to work i am going to upload uh, you know a series on uh, uh, capture commands more web services real time scenarios how we can create our own custom web services how we can use the regular expressions to you know capture the dynamic uh, ui changes everything so please don't forget to click on bell icon and please subscribe my channel that's why you'll be notified whenever i upload a new series on videos on automation anywhere on a360 python videos and uh, other rpa tools like microsoft power automate cloud desktop ui path python excel macros so these are all the necessary things to learn for rpa developer i hope you like this video please share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to click the bell icon thank you thanks for watching my video